Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, Elliot had a little bit of an issue going on, didn't he? Yes. And we got ourselves locked out of the elevator room because we failed the blood test because, you know, we're growing weird shit out of our neck and our skin is turning a very strange color. But hey, I'm sure we can uh, solve all of our problems and more, hopefully. So, first thing we need to do is we need to get some frozen blood, which means we need to go nick some and uh, hope that that's totally going to fool the machine. Okay, so let's get moving. This begins our adventures through the pipes. And no, I'm not talking a Mario. This is one of the things that I really don't like about this game. Now, I have actually uh, practiced a little bit of this. Uh-oh. Here we go. Ah, come on, Elliot. These things suck. These horrible, mutant, bloody weedles. Oh, God. Right, let's unload with the shotgun. I really don't like this pipe section. I've said that a thousand times. I'm probably going to say it a thousand more times. It's really unintuitive. I think one of the bigger... Oh, God. I don't know why these weedles aren't attacking. Titan used shotgun. It's super effective. Right in the face. Ooh, that's good. Uh-oh. Maybe... Maybe this shotgun is not quite as effective as I was hoping. Move, 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 move. Alright, let's reload. I suppose... Oh, God. These things are quick. These things are quick. Oh, well, I mean, that worked. Not sure why they glow red when we uh, zap them with the stunner majig, but hey, I'm I don't make the rules, okay? I just does the killing. Look at their eyes. Ooh, man, look at that. That is pretty grim stuff right there. Ugh. Anyway, monsters dispatched. What do we have? We have like a brain in a jar as well. What the hell was going on here? That actually is like a brain in a jar as well. It's got eyes, it's got a mouth, it's got... F Ugh. Well, let's not think about that too much. Anywho, let's go grab up some frozen blood. Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I mean, I guess we could use that to trick the machine. However, and yes, that door is still locked even uh, from this side. So, we've got some frozen blood. However, that on its own is not going to be enough to trick the system. Oh, no, 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 no. This system is smart. It can tell living blood from frozen blood. So, we need to go thaw that out. Luckily, we did actually pass by a blood thawing machine. Would you believe it? Uh, a little bit earlier on. So, let's go and get this defrosted. Also, there is the woman that we saw trying to escape those mutated creatures earlier uh, standing on a table we can actually go see her and we will go see her because that seems like the right thing to do hopefully she's got some kind of information for us hey friend get fucked and after playing quite a bit of this actually quite extensively um, I have absolutely unanimously decided that the Stun rod is better than the ray sword, not for damage output, but the ray sword you just take way more damage. Oh god, we've gone the wrong way. No, we haven't. The ray sword. Uh, oh, I think I just did go the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way again. Uh, the ray sword does. Um, it's so much slower. It just leaves you constantly open to attack, which is bad. Whereas this puppy just literally lives up to its name, stuns them, and uh, really lets you kick an ass or two, which is really what this game is all about. So, let's move. Now we've lined our pockets with more mutant gold. Hopefully we shall use that later to buy weapons of mass destruction. Uh, oh, hey friend. Yeah, if we were using the ray sword, we definitely would have... Uh, <laughs> if we were using the race sword, we definitely would have got hit there as we get hit in the face. Well, uh, the race sword is definitely leaves you open to attack. Maybe it's better against the bigger enemies. I'm really not sure, to be honest. All I know is the stun rod is where it's at. And the damage output difference. Like, I don't really notice 
much difference, if anything. Uh, we're going this way. Uh, past experiment room. Um, yeah, we need to go right upstairs, actually. I can't remember which room has the blood bank in. And we're going to get attacked pretty much straight away with this massive bell end up here. Hey, friend. Hey, that shotgun blast should have knocked you over. What is this? All right. You want to play hard to get? That's fine. You can eat my stun sword until you've had enough of it. There we go. Tell me it hurts. Please tell me it hurts. All right, not bad. Not bad. It's the only thing these bastards understand. Stick one of these lightning swords up their ass and... I tell you what, they're, they're sing like a fucking canary. At least give you all of their money, anyway. Uh, now, this should be... Oh, hello. This is where our friend is. I say friend loosely. We've never met her. And, yeah, we can't actually hit anything with our sword here. So, we're going to use liberal amounts of shotgun. When in doubt, roll out the shotgun. Oof. And down to our last five boxes of ammo. Don't worry, love. Don't worry. Don't thank me. She literally says nothing. We've saved her life and we get nothing from her. Until we actually, you know, get up in her face. Not really sure why. And guys, you, you, you want to be sitting down. Chances are you probably are already sitting down. But listen to this voice acting I nearly shit my pants when I heard it because the voice acting in this game what happened to your phone oh. is happening to me? <laughs> he needs to be treated <laughs> I, I can't Dr. Jacob may know how <laughs> where can I find him oh god he's at his private lab on the second underground floor God, her eyes are I don't know if he's still alive. bulging out. I'll check there. Stay here, Elliot. I think she's infected, guys. I think we should put her down now. I'm just saying, all right? Jesus. I think we just ran into the lab, Biff. My God. Right, can you say Biff these days? I don't know. I don't care. I said Biff. All right. Come on. No, Elliot. Discharge your weapon. At least, Elliot, at least discharge your weapon in the rough direction of the monster. I'm just saying, maybe that would help. Okay, now, we need to go into that room, I believe. Is this the room of the blood thawing device? I think so. I, boom! Oh, his bleed Ned came off. Ah, sir, I apologize. Uh, really? Really? Bloody combat in this game, I tell you. Combat in this game is ass. But it's entertaining ass, you know? Alright, well, we're going to thaw out this blood. Because uh, it's probably freezing our pocket, which is not fantastic. Uh, Elliot, uh, Elliot, thank you. Yes, the frozen blood is now thawed. Excellent. Right, let's go see if we can trick that machine. Now, we can't go back into the elevator room because it thinks it it's in lockdown. Boom! Good night. It thinks we're in lockdown because it's detected an infection. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's detected a viral outbreak. I guess nothing gets past that machine, huh? Right, so we're going to have to pull the wool over its eyes by dangling some fresh warm blood uh, into its receptacle and I hate the fact that we can't go down there uh, now we have to remember and by we I of course mean me have to remember where the ah bollocks we actually have to go back upstairs at least I'm 95% sure we have to go back upstairs the room I'm looking for is called the extractor room. No, the exhaust room, sorry. Nah. And it's not labeled anywhere. But hey, that means we get to waste this guy again. Which is good. 
because every time we waste this guy, he massively lines our pockets. Dude, come over here, man. I don't want to kill you somewhere where I'm going to lose all of your money. I mean my money. You just don't know it's my money yet. Come on, buddy. Boom. Sit down. Come on. Get back up. There we go. I keep shooting you down with a shotgun. How are you feeling? You want some more, huh? That's okay. That's okay. We've got plenty. Don't ever say I don't give you nothing. There we go. Now, hopefully we're not going to lose any of that precious money. And some of it still went through the fence. But only one... Well, ten... Uh, Chimera Tech dollars. But that's okay. We could afford to lose ten dollars, I think. Yeah, so this is the room that we need to go in. And this is where things get really confusing. We need to get down that pipe. But we can't just climb onto that pipe. <laughs> no! No, viewer. That would be too easy. No, we have to climb up here, which confused me greatly. I didn't realize we could climb up here and then go this way. Because... Oh, God. Because very rarely when we do this, um, climb around these pipes, do we actually get a choice of where to go. But this time, Elliot has decided, fuck it. I'm going to uh, expand my options. Alright, so, there we go. Good, good stuff. Back in the elevator room. Alright, let's go get stabbed by this. Or at least, let's hold a bag of blood up to our asshole whilst the needle tries to extract. I assume it's stabbing him in the ass. I'm not sure. Is clear. You are now permitted to enter B. Enter B? Don't you mean B2? Should be computer. Hey, friend! Boom! Uh, that was anticlimactic. That was a little bit more climactic. There we go. Oof. Get the hell out of my face, sir. Give me your money. 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 Money, money, money. Money. Lots of money. I'm hyper. I've been on energy drinks. Can you tell? Actually, technically, my energy drink was about, I don't know, nine hours ago. But still. Right, let's have a little look in this room. It appears that there's nothing in here but uh, leftover experiments, sadness, and misery. But, in all facets of sadness, if you look close enough and search hard enough, there will be a little bit of light. A ray of sunshine peeking through the clouds, if you will. A silver lining. And here he, here he is. Look at this. We have a little German Shepherd. It looks scared. I'm not surprised. You look like a mutant. So we're going to leave him where he is. Uh, I think we can come back later and get something from him. Hey, friend. You snooze, you lose. How did you get the drop on me? That is bullshit of the highest order. Give me your money. Also, check how like random the damage seems to be. It didn't seem like we actually hit him that much. And he still died really, really quick. Ah, anyway, let's keep going. Should we switch up to... Yes, yes. Let's switch up to dogs. Now, notice when we was talking to the Biff woman that uh, Elliot couldn't speak properly. He was, like, swallowing his own tongue. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, hey, Doctor. You're Dr. Jacob. Mm. I don't think Elliot's as sick as he thinks he is. Oh, hey. Well, someone's got a case of... I was going to say blue balls, but that doesn't really fit, does it? All right, well. Let's just keep the minigun going. Let's keep this bastard at bay. Liberal use of uh, high-caliber ammo. There we go. Making it rain. Oh, what a way to go. Pinned down in the corner of your own lab, hailed and peppered with rounds until you're coughing up your own guts. Well, could have happened to a nicer chap, I suppose. Now, let's go grab all this coinage. And this coin here, give me the money! Yes, we used Dr. Jacob's key on the ladder. Yes, 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 yes. So we found Jacob's disc and we found Jacob's key. Excellent. 
Cool. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, can we just, you know, if this was Zelda and that was a rupee and it was slightly out of bounds, we could just use the, um, what do you call it, boomerang to collect it. Use Dr. Jacob's disc. Good. Dangerous. Okay. Mm hmm. At least final stage. Uh, hang on. Target metamorphy. Final stage results. The subject's loose, fin loose final stage, however, delay metamorphosis R305. So, where put Ava? Okay. Now, they're trying to be clever. They're trying to do like a, a itchy, tasty kind of thing there, but. It just, it doesn't work, man. It's so hard to read. Uh, but hey, I mean, they tried, right? So we, go, we give them some points for that, I suppose. Uh, oh, we got a hamburger. Now, I believe a hamburger. Yeah, so it stores all of your energy. So that's too valuable to waste. And talking of hamburgers, one second, guys. I need to go check the oven. Or at least the grill. The grill is progressing nicely. Kind of reminding me of uh, Elliot's infection a little bit. Yes. Right, now let's get out of here. You right there, buddy? You're looking like my burger, mate. Don't ask. It's a healthy burger. Ooh. What? If you change again, I'll kill you. Cheers, dogs. You're one of the good ones. Uh, Elliot has 30 minutes to live. Well, he does, technically, but we can actually cheese that, believe it or not. What I want to do... Oh, fuck you, mate. I forgot about you. Unfortunately, the Gatling gun is literally going through this guy, so... It doesn't really... do us any favours here. Now, I really don't know why... They decided that the um, uh, Gatling gun is going to be swung in a horrible arc like that. I don't know why. It's I guess they were watching too much Terminator 2. But it's really not good. Anyway, let's check out this area whilst we're here. Uh, you alright, Elliot? Hey, what's wrong? Hmm. Another random part of the game. <clears throat> oh, <it's> not. <laughs> like radioactive piss. Is that where monster comes from? Let's move on. Is that where monster comes from? Possible. Okay. All right. Now look what we have here. We have a dinosaur. At least this thing actually does look like a dinosaur. Well, let's take him out. Ouch. Cheers, buddy. Uh, actually, you know what we're gonna do here. As much as I like being uh, dogs wielding a massive, great big minigun, I think, considering we brought all these bazooka rounds, well, you know, it's rude not to use them. Can you stop biting me in the face, please? Dude, look, I've had almost enough of you. Alright. You might think you're King Dong of Cock Mountain, but I can assure you, mine's. Well, mine not, might not be bigger, actually, but. I know what to do with it. Oof. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad time to reload. Uh, there we go. Plenty in the tank, I can assure you. Plenty in the tank. There we go. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, no. He's still going. He's still going. Jesus Christ. What's this? Round five? Oof. I'm not made of stone. Ah, oh, great, Elliot. You destroyed the tree. And Elliot... Elliot, my dude, I appreciate we brought a lot of these rockets. Okay, we did. And we're not exact, exactly poor at the moment. You took out another tree, Elliot. We're not exactly poor, so we can buy some more. And that rhymes. But that doesn't mean you can go frittering these things away. Ooh. How are we doing? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Look at that thing on its back. Ugh, well, I know what that reminds me of, but I'm not going there. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, God, we're going to have this dude out here. Boom! Suck on that. 
You bastard. So, we are going to go back down the elevator because there's a little secret... Well, is it a secret trick? Probably not. Um, but there is something we can do here, which is quite cool. If we go all the way back down the elevator, we can actually flood. I don't actually know. I'm trying to think. Do you have to do this? Maybe. Maybe this is not optional. But... Let's go back here into the valve room, because now we've read the files, we can actually turn this Majubra on. We can flood the tank system. Aye. The tank is now full. Excellent. We like a full tank. And, you know, we've got one in the chamber. It'd be a shame to waste it, wouldn't it, Elliot? I trust you, buddy, to aim up his ass. There we go. Nice. So yeah, what we can do now is we can turn that on. And flood the tank. Now if we go for a little paddle in the pool, that will give us another 30 minutes on top of our timer. Because old Elliot here, he, uh, he is mutating at a rapid rate, I think it's fair to say. But this chemical seems to slow the infection down. But you actually have to swim to like the middle of the and stand on this. Otherwise it doesn't seem to work. I don't know why. Because it's blue stinger, I guess, and that's blue stinger for you. There you go. The R35 Oh god. Well, you guys can probably read that better than I. I'm going to check my dinner. Right, so with that out of the way, <coughs> let's head back. Let's head back. Elliot, if you can remember how to swim, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Uh, also, I have had a bit of a look. Elliot, why aren't you getting out of this freaking pool? There we go. Okay, we've, we've swam in the ooze. We don't need the ooze no more. Even though it kind of just looks like normal water to me, but hey, what do I know? Fucking nothing, I guess. Um, now, if I was... <clears throat> the elevator room I'll be right there I guess yeah so uh, I've been looking up this information on where the secret weapon is that's apparently in the lab and I've heard so many conflicting rumors I've heard that it's a rumor that oh god I forgot we had that <laughs> a fire in the hole asshole I forgot we had that uh, uh, equipped because what was a mere second for you was nearly an hour and a half for me. Um, right, let's actually switch up to something a, a little bit less lethal, shall we? Uh, which is pretty much anything. Let's go back with a handgun. You know, the shotgun's just really pants. It's, well, very pants, actually. Now, at least we've killed this guy, so that's something. Ah, we can destroy the trees with a melee weapon. I was curious about that. Interesting. All right, good to know, good to know. I mean, it fulfills no purpose whatsoever, but it's good to know. You use Dr. Jacob's key. Brilliant. Let me through, sir. Now, let's keep it, it's locked. Oh, no. All right, well, that's a kick in the knickers, isn't it? What else do we have? The door is locked. Uh oh. Hi guys. Still surviving like cockroaches? Yeah, pretty much. Looking like cockroaches too. Who are you? <gasps> no! <laughs> no! My handsome prince! Now look what you did. You scared yeah, her. Yeah, there's a cream for that. Next time I'll answer the line. <laughs> I think there's a cream for that, Elliot. I'm just saying, buddy. Now, what's through here? Ooh, a big room. Oh, I see. Well, looks like we have some horrible beasties and some kind of thing at the bottom of the tank. Well, I'm guessing we're going to need that thing. Open the air duct. Sure, the air duct is open. Uh, right. Well, um, mm. I'm getting the feeling that something bad is going to happen if we go upstairs into the air duct. Uh... But hey, I mean, oh, look at that. We're not even attached to the ladder. That's fucking mutant powers, boyos. Um, oh boy, this is going to... 
Oh no, now we're back on the back on the thing. Right, this is totally not going to suck. Um, I'm absolutely confident in my abilities to kick some serious ass. Now, is Elliot actually going to aim down? Of course he's not. Uh, can we get these guys to actually like come up though? That's worth exploring. Because we know we can kill these things. Uh, I think he's slowly worming his way up. Kind of, maybe. Alright, let's heal up because I don't fancy dipping my toes in there uh, if I'm slightly injured. That would be bad. Um, and, oh, I wonder, can dogs' bow gun be used underwater? Uh, I think it, no, because you can't be dogs underwater. Titan, you fool! That would have been bad. Uh, let's go for the large hasties. You know, no wonder he's pissing radioactive green. How many of these has he chugged down? Right, let's put a fresh mag in there before we go down. Uh, right, let's dip our toes into the water. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Don't fear the reaper, Elliot. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, I mean, that works, I guess. I can't actually see what I'm doing, but hey. I guess ocular vision is uh, optional. Am I right? Right, we've just charged an entire magazine. And sooner rather than later, we're going to have to go up for some air. Uh... Yeah. You know, those guys don't even do as much damage as I thought they would, to be fair. Right, is there anything left alive in this tank? Or have we... No, we've pacified everything. Oh, apart from you. Alright, let's go down. Yeah, go down to your level. There we go. Alright, get a bead on this guy. He's over there. We can tell by the shadow. Elliot! There we go. And the strangely human... Um, expression of pain that they emit as well. Kind of strange. Right, Elliot, can we get some air, please? What's interesting, actually, is Elliot's wearing that breathing mask. Which is curious. But it doesn't appear to give us unlimited air, sadly. Well, that's okay. I've played Tomb Raider once or twice. Why are you swimming up, Elliot? I'm pretty sure to swim up, I have to push B. My hand is nowhere near B. Alright, come on. Ah, see, the trouble is, to pick that up, I think you have to push A. But for some reason, Elliot is swimming up. Okay, come on, Elliot. Work me here, buddy. Work me. Come on. There it is, that big thing there flashing in front of you. Thank you. The mine key. Uh, the mine key? Where the bloody hell's the mine? All right, well, I mean, baby steps, all right? Baby steps. So let's see if we can examine this key a little bit closer, shall we? Let me guess. It's just going to say mine. Hmm. I think we went past it. All right. Uh, use this key to enter the underground mining area in the lab. Uh, well, yeah, so basically that told us nothing, really. I mean, I guess we know where the mine is. It's in the lab area. And I do like the way Elliot kind of uh, floated onto that there. Good stuff, Elliot. Good stuff. Good show, that man. Now, um, okay, so we have that, which is... Ooh, no, we've opened that, which is good. I guess. Can we? The door is locked. Oh, it's locked. Sometimes it says the door is locked. Other times it says it's locked. Um, neither is advantageous, really, to our, our situation that we find ourselves in, unfortunately. Uh, now, is there? I get the feeling, actually. That there's something hidden in this area, but I can't really think what it was or where it is, and I also think I'm full of shit, which is you know part of the course half the time. Ugh, light him up, Elliot. No mercy. 
Suck my 9mm. Actually, it's a 45, so. Damn it, sir, that is not how 45 should work. You should be riddled with holes. Yeah, especially at that range. Fuck. Not even enough fate of your face left to wipe my ass on. Okay, so, I mean, we've got a mine key, which. Uh, oh, it actually says it there. That's the. Um, Alright, this is the lab, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we don't need to go back to the lab. Unfortunately, we're going to wake Meaty Boy back up. But that's okay. We can kick his ass with this. There we go. Certified ass kicker right here. Lovely. Now, that is kind of sad. That means that they've been experimenting on dogs. This displeases me greatly. To be honest. Um, now, we are out of time as well, but that's okay, we can go back. Uh, we can't go anywhere further there, and we've got loads more locked doors, but we've made a good chunk of progress, I think. Certainly, uh, more than I was hoping, uh, more than I was thinking in this, uh, area, because I don't like this area. Have I mentioned that I don't like this area? I think I've mentioned that I don't like this area once or twice. Now, I am going to make another save. A separate save because we are going to run out the clock so I can show you what happens when we do run out the clock uh, spoiler Elliot dies uh, we didn't use a railgun ammo we haven't used a whole box of that either uh, what else do we have in the shop uh, weapons that we already have which is cool I guess but we don't really need those um, uh, you know we could buy those we legit could buy those uh, and that, but uh, I don't think there's any point. Might as well save that for the end. They're really not that good. They really, really are not that good. I'm nowhere to buy handgun magazines. Hmm, that's pants. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to save this episode here. Save this video here. Save this game here. One of the two. I don't know. I'm confused in my old age. Uh, yeah, if I could... Uh, uh-oh. Oh, dear. Um. Shit. Ooh. Jesus, game. Don't do that to me. I don't know what's going on. It's definitely the VMU. Or something to do with the VMU slot, I guess. Uh, <laughs> mm. I hope it's a VMU because I has millions of those. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.